Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, I'm just, I'm still in my school uniform, but I've just picked up a rod pod off Facebook Marketplace for, I paid about 15 pound for it. So I'm just gonna, well I thought, now I've got most of my carp fishing gear and a bit of pike fishing. Um, Cause I don't know if I told you in the last video, but I caught my first pike-ish. Um, so it was big, a little bit too big. So the problem was, I'd got it in the net, and then it turned out to be too big, and way too big. So it completely snapped my neck, my neck? My net, but I mean, it was a fairly cheap net. It was about, what, uh, 15, 15 quid? From Short Ferry Fishing in, well, at Short Ferry. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna go check him out. He's a caravan store that has their own fishing lakes. As I mainly fish at Lakeside Fishery in Bournemouth, because that's where I'm from. Um, but we'll jump straight into the video, and today we're just going to be going through what gear I carry when I go carp and pipe fishing. So, first of all, we do have the fishing bag with the fishing net attached. Just thought about putting one of them on, I don't know what it's called. You got the bait boat in there, which I'll get out. Just been on holiday and bought this. It's a luggage weighing, but it can hold up to 50 kg max and 110 pounds. And uh, with me, I don't think I'm gonna be catching 110 pound fish. So that's my landing mat, vital arm, two rods. And this is the new rod pod that I've just bought, 15 pound, picked it up, what about, when I'm recording this, just got back from school, so about two hours ago, just had it, well just been and set it all up, it's a NGT3 rod pod, I think that's what it's called, with just a cheap bite alarm, haven't got any book grips yet, which I'm going to be ordering some, and yeah. So I'm just gonna empty out the gear, what I carry in there, and show what I carry. But first of all, I just wanna shout out, I can get the camera around. I just wanna shout out all my new subscribers that have subscribed to the channel, because I just wanna thank you for nine subscribers. I know people might laugh at that, but to me, that's a big deal, because nine people have taken the chance and time to subscribe to me. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll jump straight into the video. And sorry about the sun, it's getting late. So the sun will start going down. So first of all, since it's off, we will jump. Sorry guys, I've got a bit of a cold. But we'll be jumping into the net. So if we just unattach that. So this is the net when it's folded up. If I can get it undone with one hand. Come on. Ugh. It's not gonna go easy. Aha, there we go. Use all my muscles, haven't really got any. But that's it, when it's fully extended. I'll put it on the ground, so see if you can see it better. It's probably about, what? How tall am I? I'm about five, 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 six. So, how many feet is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five foot. And I mean, it's this tall on me. So, I'd say about, what, five foot? Five foot landing now, it's not bad. Got that off Facebook Marketplace as well for 20 quid. Uh, I caught a 13 pound pike, I mean carp in it, so it held up well, but we'll just jump into what I carry in the bag. So first you've got, yeah, I had a little mouse problem, so it's nibble the top, so stick mix liquid, uh, in there a float, and what's this, is it 20 pound braid? Yeah, carp mono, 20 pound. So I carry that and the float in there. Uh, I haven't actually got any bait because I can't afford it at the moment. 
But this is my carp stuff, so I got weights and bottles, mainly just bombs. Yeah, I got it from Poundland, this is the box. Um, this is for dog biscuits, so if I'm doing surface fishing. Uh, where is it? There we go. Pineapple, or sticky pineapple, and whatever that is, pop-ups, mixed in with some skunk. Right, focus camera. It's not going to focus, is it? Skunk passion fruit. Halo, 100% organic, PVA friendly. For my PVA bags, I got that from these two from Horncastle Angling Centre. I'll leave a, li a link to their website in there. I've got my reel to my 10 foot phase one feeder rod. And then I got given a free reel and a free 13 foot rod. So I was pretty chuffed with that. And I need to put this away because I keep stabbing myself with it. And if you're all experienced fishermen, we all know the pain when that thing goes in you. I don't know if that's focus, but you know when that's sharp as well because it's got barbed on the end. So that's in the back compartment. So that's more where my baits are and stuff like that. In the second compartment, we have the pike gear. So that includes, if I can get it out, uh, pike float, massive, massive hooks, uh, all my um, wire tracings. I was going to go sea fishing, but I decided not to because I don't really have the rods for it. But I'm going to see if the pike will go for them, and I don't know if it will show it. But if I was to cover that, they glow in the dark. So that's, I got four of them. Uh, I've got all the hooks in them. And then I've got my suicide duck, which I'm gonna try and hold. Ow, without getting a hook in me. Focus the camera. So I've got that in. Haven't caught anything yet. And then I traded my big lure, because I was never gonna use it for this off my mate, which is a jerk bait, I think they're called. I don't know, I'm not really that smart yet. We'll know my gear. Got some pellet rubber bands. And I've had to cut that because um, it was getting stuck in the little propellers, because when that's in the water, that makes the, um, not vibration, but noise to try and attract a pike. I'm so far waiting for the pike to happen. I did get the pike on an old fishing lure, but gave it to a mate to try on my rod and he got it stuck in a tree. So he gave me one of the his for well I traded for it. So that's what I have in that compartment, which is the second in the front. If I can get it open, let me just set you up. I'm on, you're on a little tripod, so I'm not sure if you can see me or not. No, you can't. Uh, let me just flip the camera around. I bet you're still not going to be able to see me, are you? Oh no, you can. Just. So, in this, comp it's an old school bag, if you haven't really picked up on that. So, in here, it's a little magnet which then allows me to pick up anything metal so if I was to drop that down like a little hole or something I can then pick that up without struggling and really quick and easy got my fox tackle box what I have in here I do need to sort this out and I know I do because look it is an absolute mess but in here, PVA scooper, uh, braided hook link, and then latex or MIDI match range latex pellet bait bands. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. Stop 
pop-up stoppers and boilies. These are Fox really expensive. I wish I hadn't paid $5.99 for them. Uh, rubber band putter on her. I don't know what they're called. Metal cage feeder. Got two of them. Uh, some of this. I don't know what it's like. A really weird feeling thing. But that's to put your float on so you can just take it on and off. Uh, another feeder. I don't know what this one's called. It's a freezy 30 gram though. And then two disgorges. So that's what I carry in there. In the front as well, if I can get it out. I have my Guru Slingshot. When I'm going pike fishing, I've got to have the trusty old pliers. Stole them from Grandad. See, he still hasn't found out. And then uh, a bite indicator. Got it for like 13 quid for two off eBay. And then scissors so I can cut my line. And a bigger disgorger just in case if a big fish swallows it. What else have I got? And a peg, which I don't know why. And then I carry another set of propellers for the bait boat. So I'll sit that side and I'll put all of this away over after the video. So we're just getting into the, opening up the bait boat. So, ugh, the smell. So this is the remote, it's paid what was it? 75 quid for this boat off eBay, and it's doing really well. If I can get it undone and out. So, it comes with a carry case. It's got a little antenna. If I was to move this little trigger that's on the back, that thing's open. And then you just have to reset it. So that's really more or less the bait boat. But there are the two propellers, which are what them these are for. So that's that. And then what else? Alright, and then we'll take a little walk. Ow. So then this is the weight for the weighing thing. Uh, if I turn it on. Just give me a sec. And then hook that on and I get when it calibrates off everything. But what's good about it is I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. But it stays on how much it weighs. So that weighs 1.92. So when I catch a fish. Uh, come on, come on, there you go, 1.95, 92 even. So when I catch a fish, I just need to take that off. And if I want, I can turn it into, so it's 13 degrees outside right now. 55 degrees Fahrenheit, don't know why it needs to tell me that. And it's also got kg and back to pounds. Let me just turn it off. There we go. So... I've been really lucky by the fishing community. I've been given so much stuff. So this I got given by someone at the fishing lake I fish with. He's a nice guy and he's given me this and that reel on that rod. So I'll just open this up. Let me set you back up. Don't come at me because... Wait, let me just throw this one. Ah, bullseye. Right. Yeah, so let me just stick that back in. So don't come at me. I know it is really dirty, but it's done a good job. It's had a couple of fish in. 
and I'll show you them in the video because they're on my phone, which has died. So that's on charge. Oh, I forgot to show you these, which are carrying the tackle box. I got off Amazon for six or something quid. Get 86 barbed hook, all different sizes. And I'll leave the link of them in the description if you want to go and grab yourself. I'm not sponsored, by the way. So we'll throw that out and get to the big thing. So I have just picked this up today and it's looking fancy. As I said, it's a G, it's an NGT3 rod pod with my really cheap bail arm. If it'll focus, what's it called? Come on, focus. Come on. Well, it's a Beeler Ron Thompson. Really good. Uh, really good at simming, uh, telling me when there's a fish. There's my little receiver. I do need to get some uh, book grips, just so it's uh, so it doesn't go flying. I do need to save up now and get some bait because I can't afford that in the moment. And I need to get any bite alarm event. So, when I get that done, I'll be really fishing. And when I get that all sorted out, I want to go for a night fishing session. I don't know if they'll let me where I am because I'm only 15, but we'll see. But my camera is telling me that the battery's almost dead, so that will be cutting it to the end of the video. Whoops. And hope you guys have all enjoyed the video. I know it's only been, I mean, I know it's been quite a long video, but. That's just all I carry when I go carp fishing and a bit when I go pike fishing. But see you all in the next one and the links are in the description. Peace.